Our investigation into a hidden world where prisoners are kept in solitary confinement for years and years, rooms smaller than an ordinary parking spot. Tonight you will see an undercover boss go behind bars posing as a prisoner to make a decision, does this work or do inmates come out more dangerous than they went in? Here's ABC's Dan Harris. You are looking at prisoner 106 on the books as a dangerous armed robber. He is preparing to enter hell on earth, solitary confinement before you meet its residents. Just listen to them. This is prison. You know, I mean, we're not here for being nice. I've seen guys resort to cutting themselves and killing themselves, you know? As prisoner 106 is moved into the unit. I don't know that I have ever felt as vulnerable as I do right now. The thing even these officers don't know he is actually the Secretary of Corrections for the state of New Mexico, Greg Markintel. This is a public safety issue. The Secretary is spending 48 hours on the inside to decide how to reform the state's use of solitary. We're sending people back to our neighborhoods worse than when they came, and I can't allow that. It's the kind of confinement Freddie Munoz lives every day. This is my home right here. Growing up, Munoz wanted to be an astronaut, but at age 13, he got caught up in gangs. How many murders did you commit? Two. Two murders. Prison officials have kept him in a cell like this every day for the past 10 years. These four walls are all he's got. He knows every crack, every inch of peeling paint. What does that do to your head? It is perpetual misery. It's ennui, it's monotony, it's repetition. He says the only way to survive in here is to establish a strict routine, a sort of imitation of life. I exercise, I read a lot. If I didn't have books, I probably would have already gone insane. As for Secretary Markintel, 24 hours into his stay and claustrophobia is setting in. I felt like the cell was kind of squeezing down on me. Inmates get an hour a day outside of their cell. Being walked back to your cell by two guards is probably the only human contact you get all day. Critics point to studies which they say show that solitary confinement can result in brain damage similar to that made by head trauma. We are social animals. We're built for interaction. Take that away and critics say inmates can literally lose their minds. As the secretary finally gets released, he says he now believes that solitary should continue to be used, but only for the most dangerous. Our spirits weren't built for this. Days later, Freddie Munoz and seven other inmates are brought out of solitary. Here for the first time in years, real human contact. That's great, just his living right here, finally. Dan Harris, ABC News, Santa Fe, New Mexico.